This meeting is being recorded. Aloha, everybody. We're going to give a moment for all of our attendees to join us. Thank you all for being here with us this afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us here at KIUC for the unveiling of the 2023 Calendar of Student Art. We really look forward to this every year, and we are so glad that you joined us. This is actually, I'm Beth Tokioka. I'm the Member Services and Communications Manager for KIUC, and I'm going to introduce all these wonderful people in a moment, but I just wanted to preface it by saying that this is our 20th, the 20th time we've we published this calendar of student art. Um, it's the third time we've done this ceremony virtually, and it's a really nice way to showcase the art. We, we really enjoy doing this virtually because it gives everybody a great uh, visual of the beautiful, beautiful artwork. And um, then we can save the video and let others, you can share it with your friends and family. We'll be posting the video to our website and to our um, Facebook page so that you can use the link to share with any friends and family who couldn't be here today. So let me introduce who's with us here today. We have a number of our KIUC board members. We have Dee Kroll, hi Dee. We have Janet Cass, beautiful colorful background. Calvin Murashigi, David Eha, Peter Yukimura, Janten Brugenkate, Phil Takbian. We also have KIUC's president and CEO, David Bissell in his festive shirt. And of course, Shelly Pike. Hi, Shelly. We're gonna hear a little bit more about what Shelly does, which is amazing. And one of our judges has joined us today, Lisa Khan Mako. Lisa, welcome. Thank you for being here with us. So um, one of the things we do want to do is thank all of the teachers because we couldn't do this event uh, without the teacher's support and the school's support because they really step up and they take the time to work with their students and get them to submit the artwork. And we had, again, hundreds of entries this year and our judges really have you know, quite a task in front of them when all of these hundreds of uh, pieces of art come in and they have to... Uh, to decide which ones end up in the calendar. And I'm sure that every single one is worthy. Uh, it's, it's a difficult task, but they every single year we come out with just the most beautiful calendar. So uh, we thank everybody who contributes to that process. The teachers, of course, the student artists, uh, the parents, sometimes parents and guardians will submit the artwork. So we appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> and then of course, behind the scenes, we have Shelly, and Shelly handles all the details. So she intakes those hundreds of images of the artwork and, and basically organizes it. Uh, it's, it's really amazing how she does that. And then we also have someone who's not here with us today, but our graphic designer, Amy Dubay, she really makes everything that we do at KUC look fantastic. Our Currents Magazine, all of our ads. Um, and so she is the one who puts, uh, who puts it to life in the calendar. So we really thank Amy for her hard work. So just a little bit more on how the actual process works. The, the students are uploading their artwork uh, starting in August, and then we, we close the submission deadline in October. Uh, Shelly takes all of those entries and she downloads them and separates them into folders according to grades. And then she assigns them a number. So there are no names associated with these files when the judges take a look at them. So it is, it is truly anonymous when the judges are looking at the artwork. Um, and mm -hmm. they come into our offices 
and we have a big screen TV and a, and a large room for them to sit in and pour over all of this work. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of work. If you ever see them, it's, it's, I've seen them do this and it's really amazing the process they go through. They do put so much thought and energy into which ones they will select. And, and we really appreciate all the, the care and love. In addition to Lisa, our judges are also uh, Carol Kahn, who could not be here with us tonight. Carol and Lisa have been doing this for us for many, many years. And Diane Rye is our third judge, who also could not be here with us tonight. But Lisa, I'm going to ask if maybe you had a couple of words to say just in general about this year's submissions, what the process was like, and your overall impression of the artwork that was submitted for the 2023 calendar. Oh, yes, the overall. Uh, first, um, my fellow judges and I would really like to say thank you to KIUC for including us in this year's calendar. We, just like you said, Beth, we look forward to it every year, like it's a highlight. Um, and we love and enjoy looking at all of the art and all of the children's work. And there's so much hard work put into it. Um, Overall, um, it's always fun and colorful. Um, really, the bottom line is it brings us joy and inspiration and makes us think about things bigger than ourselves. Um, we would also like to acknowledge the many issues, varied issues that children and teens are facing in their lives and their need to express themselves. Um, there's depression, illness, gender inequality found in many artistic expressions as our, also our natural surroundings, um, modern forms of color, happiness, joy, and adventure. And we'd like to celebrate perseverance, dedication, and mostly the expression of is what, it, what is deep inside each of these students. So thank That's you. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing that, Lisa. Yeah, it, it is, um, <clears throat> it, it's nice to allow our students uh, there's, we have such a diverse, you know, group of youth on our island and, and everyone needs their own outlet. And so art is certainly a wonderful way for, for kids to express themselves and, and really manage, manage what's going on in their lives. So thank you. That's a beautiful, beautiful sentiment. Um, and, you know, for the students who end up in the calendar, it really is quite an accomplishment. It's, uh, we distribute 24,000 of these. So there are a lot of people with eyes on this artwork, and it's something that a student could put on their resume when they're applying to colleges. You know, it would really help to stand out to be, to be published in such a way. So it really is quite a great accomplishment, and we just really hope that um, they appreciate that and, uh, and understand how special it is to be in the calendar. Um, so I think we're going to start off, we're going to start now with uh, actually looking at the artwork and acknowledging our winners. And for that, uh, Phil Takbian is the man who does our uh, presentation every year. We so thank him for doing this. And sometimes it's challenging with the names. I know he, he practices and practices and uh, we thank you, Phil, for doing this. And what we're going to do as we work through it, Lisa, if you have a few words to say about the artwork, uh, please feel free to share. Not all of us uh, can appreciate wh uh, what you see as a, you know, as someone who is is very skilled. So, I am going to pull up the calendar, and I'll let Phil take it away. Thank you, Beth. <clears throat> we'll start with our monthly winners. Now, these winners will each receive a check for $100 along with a medal that we'll send to them in the mail. Following that, we will acknowledge our grand prize winner. The grand prize winner will also receive a check for $100 along with a trophy. And finally, we will acknowledge our honorable mentions who will each receive a check for $50 and a medal. So once again, we say thank you to our judges, Lisa Khan Mako, Carol Khan, and Diane Wright. Thank you, ladies. Okay, the winner of the calendar cover is Jersey Lee Sublan Virgilia, kindergartner <laughs> from Color Hill School. So this one just makes you laugh and and you know have that good smiling, happy feeling inside. Um, 
happy, colorful fish. There's a lot of movement in this piece as well and um, really intricate shapes. Just a very, very happy, perfect for the calendar um, cover. Congratulations, Jersey Lee. Okay, we'll start with our January winner. First grader from King Kaumua Lee Elementary School, Brooke Barshell. Yeah, this is actually um, a, a lovely piece and uh, pretty difficult for a first grader. You know, love the uh, gyotaku, all the definition in each of the scales and um, combining that with the pipe cleaners and the kind of the fun of that, it's really done with the little hook um, and kind of the texturing and mixed media of it. It's a really fun and happy piece as well. Okay, then we'll go to February. Second grader from Alakai Okawai Charter School, Michael Schmeider. Yes, lovely, Michael. Um, we love the feeling in the in this piece and the ocean, uh, the whole scene blending with the water and the uh, sky, um, the movement in that, as well as the palm leaves and the definition on that. It just has a nice feeling to it. Nice job, Michael. Okay, for the month of March, third grader from Wilcox Elementary School, Riley Yu. Yes, very nice, Riley. Uh, this vibrant painting with the falling leaves and flowers, um, the rich texture and multi-texture against um, a really lovely, uh, quieter, um, flatter background, uh, really, an, Great piece. Congratulations, Riley. The winner for April, fourth month of the year, fourth grader from Kapa Elementary School, Kenna Silva. So this is a really fun piece from Kenna. Um, it's a wonderful um, choice of perspective in doing this and styling it the way she did. Um, and uh, of course, it's very vibrant and kind of shows the youth of today and in their in their little circle. It's really a fun one. Congratulations. For the month of May, fifth grader from Wilcox Elementary School and also Green Orchid Studio, Alexis Nakia Tressler. Yeah, terrific, uh, beautiful landscape. You can actually see the texture in this piece and the uh, really uh, excellent perspective and the color choice, her color palette and the blending uh, from one part to the next uh, with the sky uh, into Haupu and the rest of the piece. So that was really wonderfully done. Congratulations, Alexis. Okay, for the month of June, sixth grader from Island School and Orchid, Green Orchid Studio, Julia Jonquaria. Yes, congratulations, Julia. This is a, a great feeling of life in this piece uh, with the vibrant color choice. Uh, there's movement in the sky and um, just a nice flowing feeling, obviously, and a wonderful piece. Thank you. For July, the seventh month of the year, seventh grader from Chief is Kamaka Hele Middle School and also Green Orchid Studio. Adelaide Scarbo. Yeah, this is a terrific piece from Adelaide, this pastel with a, a vibrant, uh, intense color in the features, um, balanced out with the rest of the piece. Um, there's a very uh, intense expression that's been gathered here and uh, really wonderful to look at and uh, stare at. <laughs> Thank you. And August winner from Kapal Middle School, eighth grader Shiloh Spencer. Yes, um, this is an interesting composition. Um, we're seeing more and more of the digital works. Uh, this had an excellent use of light, obviously in the sky and through the window. Um, you can see a little bit of that Milky Way in the background, um, but also from below and it's 
really kind of balances out the composition and the use of um, that color palette with lots of definition. Great job, Shiloh. Thank you. And the September winner is Felix Freeman, ninth grader from Kapa High School. Yes, congratulations, Felix. Uh, this had a lovely use of intense color. Um, and shading as you look through the piece and add one form to the next. Um, and the contrast of all of that uh, against the glow of the moon, it's really lovely to look at. Thank you. The winner for October is Riley Fabiana, 10th grader who is homeschooled. Yes, this piece had incredible detail, uh, and, but it all flows and it has balance, which is not always the case with this style of art and this, and this type. Um, the placement and the color palette and the shapes all really work to give it that really lovely flow and keep you looking at it longer and longer to see what, what's that, decipher different things, um, and just really enjoy the piece. So. Congratulations, Riley. The 11th grader from Island School is our November winner, Maya Ventura. Congratulations, Maya. This was a wonderful collage. There was a lot of uh, feeling uh, full of joyful dreams is kind of what um, comes across for us. The, um, along with the pencil drawing, it really works. It has a nice flow and movement to it, lots of detail, uh, very interesting and kept me looking for a long time. We really enjoyed this, thank you. For the 12th month of the year, 12th grader from Kauai High School, Kenzie Stomball. Yes, K Kenzie, congratulations. This was an excellent portrait with fine detail fine shading, and you really captured the expression uh, with the eyes, along with the mouth, the hands, the wrinkles. Uh, this was a really moody piece with a lot of feeling and emotion in it, and um, kept us looking at it for a very long time and having conversations. So congratulations, Kenzie, did a very great job. Thank you. And now our grand prize winner, 11th grader from Waimea High School, Maya Quarles. Congratulations, Maya. You're a grand prize winner with this piece. Um, obviously the intensity and the facial expression, everyone who sees this piece says, those eyes, those eyes. It's actually a very, very difficult piece to do with the pastel and the way and the style that it's done in. Um, there's a lot of depth to this piece. We um, wanted to speak about this as, as well because choosing the Joker for the grand prize, deservedly so, is the artwork warranted special recognition. Um, though what the Joker represents is not what we as mentors to our children want to foster as violence is not acceptable. Uh, and yet this piece did warrant that attention and um, the intensity and the skill that was used. We're really, really happy for you, Maya, and congratulations on your accomplishment. Congratulations. Okay, now let's, let's acknowledge our honorable mentions. Sora Dressler, fifth grader at Wilcox Elementary School, and Caleb Dunn, fifth grader from Color Hill Elementary School. Yes, these pieces were well done. Uh, Sora, with a lot of detail and perspective, this was a very creative and unusual piece. It made us smile and um, lots of little parts to kind of check out and see what's happening in. And so this one was really fun, um, as was Caleb's. There's uh, such detail, it's very bright and happy piece. We had a lot of fun following the rolling hills and the driveways and trying to see all the little details in the houses and the koi fish flying. So these were fun, thank you. Okay, next we honor 
Liliana de Souza, 12th grader from Island School, and Kenna Silva, 4th grader from Kapa Elementary School. Yes, congratulations. Uh, this is a very interesting high contrast photograph. It's truly striking piece. It's also a mixed media because there's a use of paint on the hands um, and then the photography itself. Uh, there's a high definition and it really captured our attention. Fascinating photo. Thank you so much, Liliana. And Kenna Silva, um, this was a really um, fun, unique piece also with lots of detail and really another sweet piece celebrating art and creating art and how the artist views that. So wonderful pieces, thank you. And now Delaney Sale, fourth grader at Island School in Madison Grace Tarragon, second grade Wilcox Elementary School. Yes, uh, Delaney, uh, this piece was bright and colorful. We kept looking at the texture and the dimension and from all the different angles, there were very interesting shapes and, and use of shape in this piece as well as color. Uh, so yes, we really enjoyed looking at that piece. And um, Madison, this painting has wonderful, wonderful color palette, lots of swirls and texture. It's done so very nicely with a really calming feeling and um, just the heart, obviously, with the love. So a really nice piece. Congratulations to you both. Next, we have Oliver <laughs> Remigio, first grader at Wilcox Elementary School, and Myra Nagel, 12th grader at Kapa High School. This is a great, uh, great one, Oliver. This was such a fun piece. Really, really uh, playful. Um, there's a great feeling and attention to detail. Uh, but also, you know, there's a lot of movement in this piece uh, with as a first grader. Uh, this one really made us smile and we kept going back to it. So a really fun one. Uh, and then Moira, uh, this is a wonderful piece uh, with lovely light lovely shadowing, shading from the background uh, to the light and then to the details of the, the droplets. This is a truly an artistically difficult piece to do. And um, we really enjoyed it very, very much and congratulate you for it. Next, we honor Gracie Melendez. Second grade, Wilcox Elementary, and Brill Mariquit, 11th grader at Kapa'a High. Yes, Tracy, this piece was a really neat um, uh, feel of the hibiscus from the, the petals and the details in the stamens uh, to the color that you chose and the colors. Uh, it's very pretty uh, and interesting choices, and it has a really nice composition to it. Um, and really, really enjoyable. Thank you. Brill, your forest peach uh, was filled with darkness and light, lots of detail, and a really, really nice use of color to focus that light. And um, you just had a really nice feeling when you focus in on the middle. Uh, so that was really well done. Thank you. Next is Sarah Dressler, fifth grader at Wilcox Elementary, and Hoala Wood Patrick, second grader at uh, Kilauea School. Yes, um, a beautiful abstract uh, from Sora with lovely flowing colors, shapes. This piece feels really good. Um, it's a really, really nice color palette to look at and enjoy uh, multiple times over time. Really enjoyed that, Sora. Thank you. And Ho'ola, this is a really nice composition with incredible exacting balance. Uh, it's a lovely collage with this swirling sun, these etched out details, um, very beautiful flow on this hibiscus uh, landscape piece. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And next is Abigail Simao, 10th grader at Kauai High School, and Rain Wells, 
a senior at Island School. Yes, uh, Abigail, this is a really, really interesting piece, really interesting choices for colors and shapes. Uh, the making of this, it looks uh, like a, um, a, a balance of painting and collage. Uh, there's a lot of exacting detail to this work. And I really enjoyed looking at this piece. Very, very nice, thank you. And Ren Wells, this is a lovely watercolor differing textures in the trees, in the landscape, the flowing expansive forest. Uh, this had a really uh, large, big blue sky feeling. Everything was very open, but also lots of detail. So this had a nice balance to it as well. Congratulations, Ren. Next is Sienna Davidson, fifth grader at Island School and Aiden Ahana, first grade. King Komoli. Yes, this uh, piece from Sienna is uh, a really neat uh, triptych. And I hope you all can see it. There's a lot of texture in not only the piece itself, but in the background choice of um, the paper or the fabric that it was chosen. Um, there's a lot blending the land and the sky with the animals in this. And it's a really nice color. Great work on that piece, Sienna. And uh, Aiden, uh, this was a really, I just called this the happy flyer piece. Uh, the wings, not only in the airplane and the helicopter, all that great detail, but it just, there's happiness and joy with that, the wings of Aiden. And uh, this one brought a lot of uh, good feeling to it and inspiration. So thank you very much. Okay, and now we have Bailey Mura, Kindergarten Island School, and Kawalawakua Punzal, first grader at Island School. Yes, uh, bright, beautiful movements of color in this piece by Bailey. Um, this piece had a lot going on and a lot of details, uh, small and big. And there was a really nice flow and movement to it as well as it being just a really heartfelt painting. So thank you very much, Bailey. And Lavakua, this was an interesting creation. It's a mixed media with a strong use of color and texture and the way it was um, created, the composition is very interesting. And this one had us looking at it from all different angles uh, and uh, looking at it long. So congratulations to you as well, thank you. And last but not least, Daisy Fisher, second grader at Island School. Yes, uh, this had lovely movement in this uh, pastel colored piece, the seascape. Uh, lots of lovely um, movement and feeling in the way it was created. And you can kind of feel the light and, and, and all of the movement uh, in the sky. Uh, mirrored in the water. And it's a really lovely piece by Daisy. So congratulations. And I'd like to really uh, congratulate and thank all the winners and the honorable mentions. It's actually quite difficult. Um, it really is Im important to recognize these students. They really put their heart out there in their artwork and put it forth to be seen. It's not only difficult, it's just something I'd really like to celebrate. So thank you so much. Thank you. And Beth, before I turn this program back to you, we all want to thank you for all that you have done for this calendar contest. Thank you again. Mahalo. Beth? Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Thank you so much for taking us through that artwork. And, and Lisa, for your commentary, it just helps bring these pieces to life for us. And I know if you're like me, you probably want a few of these on your wall, like right now, because they, they're so beautiful. <clears throat> so once again, I want to, um, on behalf of KIUC, thank all the teachers and the principals of the school who help us with this contest. Uh, getting the information out um, is super important at the beginning of the contest every year. And we get so much support from at the school level. So thank you so much to the teachers, the principals, the students, of course, for putting themselves out there. Uh, please continue to do so. 
We love to see your artwork. Uh, of course, uh, parents and family members, we're so pleased so many of you joined us today. And again, we'll be posting this on our website so that you can share with other family members. And uh, our judges, Lisa, we can't thank you enough. Uh, Carol and Diane, who couldn't be here with us tonight, but we just thank you so much for the love that you put into this every single year. Our board of directors, board members, thank you so much. Raise your hands so we can thank you for not just being here with us tonight, but um, providing such great leadership for KIUC. Hey, and uh, David Bissell, our president and CEO, thank you for being with us as well. And finally, uh, Shelly Pike. Shelly, take another bow. Just uh, this is your labor of love and, uh, and it just wouldn't happen if it wasn't for your dedication and your heart. Uh, yes. and our graphic designer, Amy. So everybody be looking for uh, your calendar in the mail. It'll probably be reaching you maybe in a couple of weeks or so. Uh, so we'll, you know, look, look in your mail box. And if you want to contact us, you can do that as well. And let us know if you don't get one in the mail, you can let us know. We'll pop one in the mail to you. Uh, you can email us at connections at kiuc.coop. Um, mahalo for joining us. We, uh, we appreciate it. We wish you a very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all great, great tidings from your cooperative KIUC. Aloha and have a great evening. <laughs>